Good morning, all of you. Today we will be uh, talking about the electrochemistry questions from your previous CSIR. I am going to take up six questions, and among six, three I am going to solve, and three you have to solve on your own. Okay, this is more like a revision video. Whoever have watched my electrochemistry videos, for them uh, it is an easy task for you to all these six questions, even if I don't uh, explain. Okay, so let's begin with uh, June two thousand eleven. Followed by 12 and 13. Okay, June and December, six questions. So, if the ratio of composition of oxidized and reduced species in electrochemical cells is given by oxidized by reduced is equals to E square, the correct potential difference will be. Okay, we have to find potential difference that is E minus E naught. Okay, so for a general oxidation reduction half cell reaction, we know that oxidation plus n electrons will give you reduction. This is the general equation for a oxidation reduction half cell. Now, from the Nernst equation, E is equals to E naught minus RT by NF ln products by reactants. What is the product R? And what is the reactant O? Okay. So, E minus E naught. This is what we have to find. That is the reason we have taken this to the left hand side. So, E minus E naught is minus RT by NF ln. I have written 1 by O by R. Okay, why? Because in the question you have been given with the ratio of O by R. So, if you just write it as 1 by O by R, in the place of O by R, you can substitute E square value. Okay, so that's what I have done here. So, minus RT by NF ln 1 by E square can be written as E power minus 2. So, E minus E naught is nothing but, this E power minus 2 is nothing but in the form ln E power X and it is equals to X. Right, so this 2 comes to your here i mean the base okay so minus 2 into minus that becomes plus 2 rt by nf so e minus e naught is equals to 2 rt by nf so the right choice is the option a right now now we'll go to december 2011 question now the overall reaction for the passage of 1.0 faraday of charge in the following cell reaction is now this is a cell reaction if you have watched my videos what is the first thing you have to know as soon as you look at the question you have to identify which kind of uh, cell it is it is it an electrode concentration or electrolyte concentration and etc so if you look at the question these are your electrodes and the electrodes are same okay and these are your electrolytes and there is a change in the concentration of electrolyte whereas the electrode concentrations are same Hence, this is an example for electrolyte concentration cell because the change is there in the electrolyte no concentration, not electrode. Okay. So, it is an electrolyte concentration cell and you have also been given the transport numbers T in all the answers. It means it is an electrolyte concentration cell with transference because with transference means there, there is no salt bridge there will be transfer of ions because of which the transport number is generated in the particular given question okay so directly as soon as you see that this is an electrolyte concentration cell with transferent directly go to the shortcut whatever i have taught you in my electrochemistry 3 video okay from there you will find the shortcut of this question and you just write down what is the answer okay just one note i wanted to add here is that uh, i think i have told there but still i will stress on this point again for simplification that if your electrode is reversed to anion as in this case you can see agcl your chloride is reversed to your anion okay it is reversed to anion then the transport number with opposite charges to the electrode will appear so as it is reversed to anion your transport number will be reversed to that charge of the particular ion so anion is negative so transport number will be positive just to know if that particular point you can tell that answer is either a or b okay but not c or d now as you know that answer is among a or b i request you to please calculate what could be the answer from the uh, electrochemistry 3 video okay now coming to the june 2012 question i have already made a video on this particular question so the reference is here electrochemistry 4 have a look of my video electrochemistry 4 for that particular question like i thought i'll make a series thing from the previous esr question that's the reason i have to 
mention even the questions whichever I have made. Okay. Next coming to December 2012 question. The equilibrium constant for an electrochemical reaction. You have been given with a, a reaction and all the sufficient values which are required to calculate the equilibrium constant K. Okay. So this is what you have to find out. For that you have to know E0 cell because you, you have been given with 2.303 RT by F value is given. You have to know N and E0. Okay. Let's calculate E0 first. Now if you look at the E0 you have been given two E0 values iron and tin. And if you carefully look here, both are been the reduction potentials plus 3 to plus 2 and plus 4 to plus 2. So these both are the reduction potentials. Okay. Among both, the one which has a higher uh, value that will un that will undergo reduction at cathode. Okay. And the other one will act as anode. So if you write your E0 cell, it is nothing but E cathode minus E anode. Now what will be your E cathode? The one with the more reduction value will be your cathode. Had it been a question where you have been given with the two oxidation potentials and this would be your, if, if this particular value was higher then that would be your oxidation potential, okay. It is vice versa. Now, E0 cell is equals to E cathode minus E anode. So, 0 0.60. Now, you have to calculate your log K. This is the formula used. How did, how did you get this particular question, uh, formula? See, uh, the question is given that at equilibrium, okay. At equilibrium, delta G is 0, we know. We, we have been given with the equilibrium reaction of tin and iron. So, at equilibrium, we know that delta G is 0. So, delta G is nothing but minus NF E cell from one of the, uh, you know, thermodynamic and kinetic correlation minus NF E cell is 0. So, E cell is equals to 0. This particular thing was also a CSIR question. At equilibrium, what is the E cell value? Now, E cell is E0 cell minus RT by NF ln K. Now, your E cell is 0, E0 cell minus RT by NF ln K. From this, just simplify for ln K, you will get this formula. This formula you use for this particular question. Okay. So, log K is NF E0 cell 2.303 RT. So, N E0 cell, I have taken this into denominator. Why? Because you have been given with the value of 2.303 RT by F. So, N is nothing but number of electrons involved. So, here you can see there are two electrons involved in the reaction. If you write the reaction, you will come to know that there are two electrons involved in the reaction. Okay. So, 2 into 0 0.60 divided by 2.303 RT by F is 0 0.06. So, if you solve this, you will get answer as 20. So, your log K value is 20. So, what will be the K? K is k is 10 power 20 okay so 10 power 20 is your right choice now june 2013 question identify the following the correct ionic strengths you have been given with the two options if you carefully look at the options given you will find that for the option a all the four are same 0 0.010 i did not write properly it is 0 0.010 so, you don't waste your time by calculating for NACL as there is no use because all the four answers are same. Directly jump to the question B where you have to find the ionic strength for your Na2SO4. Okay. Now, for Na2SO4, the reaction is 2 Na++ SO4 minus 2. What is the ionic strength uh, formula? I have told in my very first video. Okay. From there, you can just check out 1 by 2 is equals to M1 Z1 square plus M2 Z2 square. So, 1 by 2, M are your concentration, molalities, 0.01 and Z are your ionic charges. So, mass is here. What is the mass over here? That is 2 Na plus uh, 2 into 0 0.01 into Z1. Z1 is your ionic charge for sodium. It is plus 1 plus 0 0.01 into uh, charge of the second ion that is SO4 minus 2 that is minus 2 square okay if you simplify you will get your I value now I think this is the last question yeah this is the last question this is December 2013 now now consider the following cell reaction and you have been given with E cell you have been given with the reaction and all the required values of concentration I mean activity etc the same question which we have solved here 
a similar pattern question have have been asked here just that here you were directly given the e naught values okay you were given with e naught values so it was direct substitution but here what is the only change you have to find your e naught value from the uh, derivation of nernst equation that is e cell is equals to e naught cell minus 2.303 rt by nf ln k all that if you do you will get your e cell value once you get your e naught sorry once you get your e naught cell value again use this particular formula log k is equals to nf e naught cell by 2.303 rt to calculate your equilibrium constant value so i i request you to please solve this particular question as i think electrochemistry questions are the most easiest questions uh, and and they take less time to solve for the exam point of view so i request you to find out the right answer and please comment down in the comment section uh, what is the final answer okay so this was the six questions which i have solved from your electrochemistry i think this is more than sufficient even the further questions whatever i have seen the pattern is same once you are done with the, this six questions and whatever videos i have taught you are uh, totally done with the electrochemistry for this particular june 2018 csir now we'll focus on some other chapter other than the electrochemistry for our revision purposes right thank you